Hey, how's it going guys? Jason here. Welcome to episode 9 of the Iron Fortress Diamond series. Today we're going to be playing Kale as voted by you guys. And we're up against Garen with Dark Harvest, so pretty interesting. I also noticed the Rammus support with Ignite and Ghost, so that's pretty next level actually. Anyways, OP.GG and the runes are on screen right now. And while you guys are looking at that, I'll just show you guys the build really quick. This is an on-hit build with press the attack. And also this is going to be the build where we can sub in like these kind of items at the bottom. What the? He's not gonna flash. Okay, nice. We get an assist. What was he doing there? That was so random. And why is Nasus up here? Oh wait, he's the jungler? No, he's a support and he has no... Oh, okay. My head already hurts so much right now. <laughs> My head hurts so much right now. Holy moly. Guys, we can't... Oh my. Very diverse, very innovative these people are. Might get queued here. Really? I lost that trade in my minion wave. It's not cool. I'll pop both potions here. Okay, I guess we have better sustain, maybe. Oh yeah, this setup is really efficient. I have biscuits coming up as well. And also I have teleport. So Dark Seal and Refillable, very efficient. Whenever I teleport back, I'm going to be ahead because I'll really utilize the value here. I'm not sure if that was worth losing a cannon over though, to get that third hit proc. Alright, I'm committed here. There's no point in warding and just face checking a jungler when I could just be standing here. If the jungler's there, it doesn't even matter. Because he'll come into this minion wave and yeah, he won't come in. He'll lose. Uh, Garen has teleport, so he's not going to lose much if he teleports right away. He might miss a cannon. I get to go back for free and get a double dagger. It's always a very nice purchase for us. Okay, this is really bad on the Garen's part. He lost so much by not teleporting, so if you're an Iron, make sure you catch this whole wave. I get that you're low, and he wasn't really in much danger of dying. He could easily survive if he wanted to. I know he doesn't have flash because he used it earlier here, but make sure you pick up the CS or experience, at least stay in EXP range, because that's like one surefire way of falling really far behind. See, now it's pushing towards me, and I have a full level advantage because... He just decided not to use teleport. It's pushing towards us, but I'll make sure that it doesn't crash too hard into our tower. I'll we'll pick this off. Alright, he wants this cannon, doesn't he? Pop a potion here. That's ridiculous that we lose that trade. What the heck? Kel's so weak early. It's alright, we have potions for days, and we also have teleport. Alright, I picked up as much CS as possible. Pop a biscuit here as well. We also get maximum mana uh, increase whenever we use a biscuit. It's really nice. He's down there. We're gonna build up a big wave and shove it into his tower. Because I can't hard push fast enough, so I'll just like slowly push. So once this next wave arrives, I'm going to just shove it into the tower. If I was to shove the wave immediately, it would just freeze outside his tower, which in most cases is fine because we're Kale, but we'll be overextended. 
Okay, so once the minions gather up, just kill the back line. Damn, I'm missing a lot of minions, just... Oof. Okay. So yeah, this will crash into tower because we slow push one wave, fast push the second one, crashes into tower. We can pick up Zerka Greaves, this will be really nice. And I also get a pink ward since I seem to be lane dominant at the moment. Okay, let's teleport in. Oh my. Oh my, please. I don't have E anymore. Alright, let's go back top. So notice how I pop a potion right away. Oh, what? Why is he, she staying? Why is Zed taking so long to come? I guess he was dead. Zed is 0 and 1. Ah, we got him. Oh, okay. I got most of it. So now we slow push this wave and fast push the next one. That will crash it into tower. And we can stay relatively safe here. Uh, Garen's missing. Oh wow, okay. Garen's over there. I guess we'll just hard push. It doesn't matter if it sort of freezes outside because we're ranged. We already did our roam. Garen's roam is a bit too random though, he's gonna miss so much. Like, I didn't expect him to roam, that's why I didn't ping it. I was assuming he was just standing back. But this is like a really bad roam by him. He needs to roam after a push. Whenever you want to roam, you shove it in, or you build up a big wave, like slow push one, hard push the second, and then it goes straight into their tower, they can't tank it early game. You just simply roam. Oh wow, we have a Mountain Drake, so this tower is going down. Oh, okay. I just wanted to prevent some damage, because I was assuming it's going to ult right before he dies. I want to be as healthy as possible. I don't know, probably not worth it. It was just a foresight thing. But yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I don't feel happy with this lane because it feels like this Garen's trolling himself way too hard. But it, I think it's really important that people who are in Iron, which is the old bronze, know exactly what they're doing wrong because most likely they're doing these kind of things. That's why it might be stuck in Iron because they make these kind of mistakes. And hopefully I can point out enough so you guys get the idea, get the pattern. You know, lane management, very important. EXP early on, very important as well. Don't randomly roam. Like, there's certain roam times that are expected, and then I'll ping it because it makes sense, and it will actually gain them some sort of lead. But if they roam when there's a big wave crashing to their tower, you know, that's not the best idea. Actually, a really bad idea. I think now we can just keep pushing him in. Oh, by the way, I have approach velocity, so I run a lot faster when they're slowed. It's like, it's a pretty brutal combo. You guys can see how I have approach velocity. It's really good for scaling into the game. For some reason, I pressed 3 thinking that I had some sort of wave clear tier mark because it was just like muscle memory. But I used a biscuit instead. So we're going to get Nashes here. My teleport's up in like 2 minutes, so I'm definitely looking for a teleport play on the map. Otherwise we just... Oh, okay, I, I shouldn't be talking so much when I'm taking tower. The best thing is to let the tower take out as many minions as possible and deny Garen even further. So keep these minions alive. Make sure you last hit it. Okay, so we get first blood tower. And yeah, if I 
left a lot more health on that tower, then a lot more of my minions would have died there. And then Garen would come back with way less. So our our level difference will be a lot greater. So that's a really nice trick you can do if you're ahead. And he's really silly to roam. Even though he got a kill, he's level 6 to my level 9. And I'm going to be sort of like camping here a little bit. Uh-oh. Is there a blast cone here? Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm not sure if I can take on both of them. So I'm just going to back away. I have a lot of gold as well. Oh, my. Oh, okay. These guys are getting spicy on me. Wait, I thought this guy left the tri-bush and was walking towards tower. Did he go back in? I wouldn't be surprised if he did though. My teleport's coming up. I can push this out and then start roaming. But you guys get the pattern how I'm always pushing out my lane and then doing other things. Because like it's a really important thing to stay in line in the XP. If you miss out too much, you fall behind, then you're not coming back up. Oh, he might be in here. Okay. What? LeBlanc's saying she is a smurf? Okay. Well, that's really good then we actually have a little bit of a challenge, right? Well, I highly doubt it. Her CS is too low to be a smurf. Like, even if I was the first time a champion, 46 CS at 13 minutes is pretty embarrassing. Oh, this guy's over here. Oh, actually, kill, kill. Oh, that's happening. I think it'll be too late for me to teleport. Well, maybe not. They're overstaying like crazy. Oh, I could have played that better by popping potions there. I was so busy looking at my ult and my W. Alright, nice. They overstayed like crazy. Ew. That's a LeBlanc. Ah, uh, okay, my slow didn't do enough. Rip. Oh, I get my Rage Blade here. Unfortunately, I had to sell my refill, but I think it's worth it. I'm keeping this Stark Seal because I have 10 stacks, so it's super gold efficient right now. Okay, so I go back to top, push that out, and then I start roaming again. You always want to get all this free XP. Oh, someone got a triple. Jinx got a triple? Oh, Jinx has 13 kills. Oh my god. No, no, no. Why are we surrendering? Okay, so Jinx is going to be very skip. I'll take it. Rageblade OP, guys. Alright, we need to go to bot lane ASAP before they do any more damage. That's uh, clearly a fake. Actually, they all backed away. Time to get some damage on this tower. It's very safe because I see everyone on the map. The only way they could come is from base. Alright, let's get out of here. That's a tower right there. Let's back off a little bit more, and then we recall. We take care of Jinx now. Because Jinx is the major threat on the enemy team. She has almost 100 CS, so 
I mean, it's not the worst. It could be a lot better, but... You know, she's actually a lot stronger than us. She's level 11 to our level 12, though. <sighs> Let's go. Oh my god, just keep going. I wasted my ult. I thought it was going to be iron and just keep going forward. <laughs> Alright, this Jinx could actually one-shot me. So, I, I need to be careful. I don't have ult. Like, she could actually kill me right now. <gasps> oh, speaking of Jinx. Let's stack up our Rage Blade and then we actually win. Jesus. Predator OP. Alright. Sweet. So we just had to take care of the front line and, you know, Jinx is just open. Why are they all here? Hello? Alright, they can push then. They don't need me to push as well. Like, that's just overkill. I can easily take out this LeBlanc. Let's see how big of a smurf she is. I just need to make sure I ult her combo. Oh, okay. Nice smurf. To be honest, Nasus is trolling, though. <laughs> He played NASA support with with Smite. But you guys can quickly see that it doesn't matter if the enemy Jinx has 17 kills. It's very doable. Because it's in this elo or in any low elo, it's not a big deal. They don't farm that well. 106 CS at 18 minutes is very poor. So as long as you farm well, you're going to get free kills that just run into you everywhere on the map. Whether you're silver, you're gold, you're bronze. It's going to happen. Maybe not so much gold, because they start to wisen up a little bit, that's what I've noticed. Just for good measure, we're going to pick up Zonyas, because this Jinx is very fed. So it'll be very silly to just go full greed mode, but it can still work. Hmm, that NASA's not moving. Okay, Let's speed up. Got her. Got her as well. <laughs> Kale is so strong. Once you get items, Kale is whoa. Just like an APC. APC? Yeah. She's like a mixed damage. Mixed PC. OP. It's also really good practice that I'm just playing any uh, champion, like, it doesn't even matter what champion I play. Uh, let's get out of tower range. I'm actually dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Okay, now I'm dead. Oh, okay. Oh. I, I had to go this way. If I went that way, yeah, uh, Jinx would just walk up and kill me. Damn, I wanted to get out. I also had to dodge her laser. She's not too fed. I can take care of her. I can kill Jinx, don't worry. I don't think they're doing Baron, no. I just don't want him to suicide. There's no reason to. Also, this Nasus doesn't scale because he's building really bad items. <laughs> Wait, wait. Why? 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 <laughs> Just why? Wait, I can't make it. I'm getting red buff. Oh my.
we go. I was just waiting for the LeBlanc to jump into me, but she didn't. But I was like, once she gets close to me, I just press ult. And yeah, Kale's 1v5. 1v9. Whatever you want to call it. I don't really care about my team because we're so strong. We're the tank and also the damage dealer. I don't care about this Garen. If he comes over, he's dead. Lol, pentakill. <laughs> he just walked into that one. Um... Okay, let's get out of here. Goodbye. Yeah, I'll speed him up because I'm a nice- Oh my god, I'm dead! Okay. Ah, uh, I'm getting out. Let's get out. You kind of have to move them like, sort of, you know, if you play StarCraft, you have to move your characters. You have to move these guys with you. <laughs> Say, oh, might. Oh, why would he take that? He should be getting blue buff for the energy. There's two and four Z. Like, my red buff's about to fall off. Okay, so let's get Magi's. And we'll get. There we go. Okay, we might be able to just teleport. Okay, we don't need to teleport. Why did he do that? He took the shadow. <laughs> They're actually griefing. Oh, okay, Nasus is going in. Oh. I could have saved him, but I don't think there's a point. I also didn't expect him to get bursted this hard. Okay, let's take out this tower. Alright, let's get out of here. Maybe even pick up a uh, Garen. Maybe? Oh, there he is. Hello. Alright, let's get Baron. So we just shot call for the team. If they don't come, then we'll solo it. Good. Since Zed is tanking it, I'll do full damage. So this will get shredded really fast. I'm not sure what this thing does. I think it shreds armor, but we just dodge it anyway. Okay. I think we can just simply end. So I guess that's the difference between a fake smurf, the 3 and 4 LeBlanc, and a real smurf. OP OP. Alright, GG well played. I hope you guys enjoy this one. It is going to be probably, what, the last week before the new Kel comes in. The old Kel is lots of fun. I hope the new Kel is just as fun. Late game Kel is just really, really strong. And the lower elo you go, the faster you'll get stronger. Unless someone AFKs. If everyone's playing, you'll be fine. If they're feeding, great. If they're not feeding, also great. But as long as they don't AFK or like, even though this Nasus was trolling, bot lane was feeding. Zed had no idea what he was doing and he was losing to LeBlanc. I don't even know, like, I don't think Silas did anything. It didn't really matter. But then then again, we are playing a really strong champion. So, Kale can do this. Jax can do this. Pretty sure Trinomir can, although he's really weak right now. You guys get the idea. Oh yeah, also I had to dodge one of the games because someone else on the enemy team picked Kale in champ select. So, I dodged. That's why we were like negative 3 LP. Got 22 LP, so we're now 19 LP. Anyways, down below, make sure you vote which champion you want to see in the next episode. And also be sure to upvote some champions as well down below. 
for those who are wondering, this is the damage dealt, and also, <laughs> that's disgusting how much damage we dealt, but also, Keystone, we did 4,000 damage in total with Press the Attack. Press the Attack is the way to go, guys, it's really strong. <laughs> it also boosts the damage of your teammates on that target as well, it's really top notch, and we proc it instantly because of our Rage Blade, we just need two hits to proc it. It's really, really powerful. I'll see you guys all in the next video. Cheers.